I'm working on a project that taps into Google's YouTube API. So I'm looking at my OAuth credentials within the Google Cloud Console. And one of the issues I'm facing is it's asking for a redirect URL. This is going to be the URL that uh, Google or YouTube is going to redirect back to after the authorization is made. And as you can see, it's not allowing me to put in a domain with a .test extension, which is the extension I use in my local development environments. What it's expecting here is a valid top-level domain, .com, .org, .net, that sort of thing. So obviously I could run this on my production server that has a proper .com domain, but I want to be able to test and run my code locally in development before doing that. So to deal with this roadblock, I'm going to use a service called Redirect Me To, which was designed for this uh, exact scenario that I'm describing, where you're working locally and trying to uh, set up an OAuth system. Uh, the way it works is you just take the URL that you want to be redirecting to, even if it's a local one, you tack it on to the redirectme2.com domain, and uh, it'll do the redirect for you. So it'll actually send you over to your local URL, but it's going to satisfy that requirement that your OAuth system has where you're sending to a top level domain. So let's see this in action. I'm just going to prefix my local URL with the redirect me to URL. All right, you can see it made the validation uh, messages go away on this page. So I'll be able to save this. Uh, before I do, let's just test this out and see what it does. All right, so there you go. You can see it just redirected to our local domain. All right, so let's save those changes. Uh, and then the other place where we want to put this URL is in our OAuth consent screen settings. So I'm going to go over to there, edit my app, and then scroll down. And for authorized domains, we just want to make sure that redirect me to domain is listed here. So with that in place, I will save my changes. And then the final place I need to set that URL is in my code itself. So anywhere I'm indicating the redirect URL, uh, I need to make sure I'm uh, setting it using the redirectme2.com uh, alias. And you can see I've already set it in this code example. Now this example I'm showing right now is just a demo I worked up for this video. If this was a real world code base, I would be using some sort of environment configuration setting so that uh, I could alter this URL based on whether I was running this application uh, in production versus locally, because I would be using different URLs in those contexts. Uh, so just wanted to note that, uh, but before we wrap things up, let's test this out. So going over to the browser, I'm going to um, just make sure I have the latest code and then initiate the authorization process with YouTube from my application. I'm gonna choose a user and there we go, we are now authorized. So hopefully this helped you out if you were in a similar situation. Uh, if you want to learn more about the code I used in this demonstration, uh, check out the notes that accompany this video. You can find a link in the description. Down at the very bottom is the code sample that I'm using. Uh, it's taking advantage of Google API's PHP client. Uh, and be on the lookout. I'm going to be putting out some more videos uh, about working with the PHP client and just general interactions with the YouTube API.